our fifth path to the genetic paradigm of cancer involved the study of congenital cancer and incidentally uncovered an entirely new form of cancer gene. This work departs from the fact that about 5% of human cancer is strongly hereditary. Uh, and it began with a study of a childhood tumor known as retinoblastoma. And here is an example. In some instances, retinoblastoma is inherited in a very strong manner, uh, as illustrated in this family tree, where every red box or circle indicates a case of childhood retinoblastoma. The first hint to what was going on here was the discovery of a defective chromosome in familial retinoblastoma, inherited retinoblastoma. It involved chromosome 13, and it, it was discovered that in some cases of retinoblastoma, there was a focal deletion. A piece of this chromosome was missing. This band here had disappeared in the, in the chromosome of the family. It was immediately apparent that this deletion segregated with the disease in families. Uh, and in due course, through the use of molecular biology, um, a single gene was identified uh, as the culprit, a gene that was known as the retinoblastoma gene, or RB1. And it was the loss of this gene that was causing the trouble. Here is how we understand the inheritance uh, of retinoblastoma. Uh, one of the two chromosomes uh, <clears throat> in the family is carrying this deficiency. And sometime uh, during the early life of the child, the corresponding normal copy in the other chromosome is also damaged for one reason or another. Now the cell is totally deficient in this gene, and that gives rise uh, to, the to the cancer. A retinoblastoma also occurs as a spontaneous tumor. And in that instance, um, there is no inherited abnormality. Uh, both copies of the gene are damaged during early life, uh, giving rise uh, to uh, the cancer. Uh, and the, both of these are rare events. So as a consequence for two of them to occur in the same uh, lineage of cells uh, makes this a very rare tumor in one in perhaps 30,000 people. So this is a new form of cancer gene, a genetic deficiency uh, that we now know uh, is present in both congenital and sporadic cancer. And the affected genes are known as tumor suppressors because in their absence, cancer is favored. Typically, both copies of the genes are defective in the tumor, and that's how we usually spot them. And the deficiency is genetically recessive because both copies must be uh, affected. Here are a few prominent examples. Uh, these examples were, uh, almost all of them were discovered first by uh, the study of inherited cancer. But with the latter day uh, techniques of genomics, uh, we can now identify tumor suppressor genes without any assistance uh, from congenital cancer or heritable cancer. Now the malady here is loss of the gene or its activity, which we could equate to a faulty break as opposed to the jammed accelerator of proto-oncogenes. So the geneticist calls this a loss of function and it is genetically recessive. 